Well, I believe I found a solution to my oil filter label that's been melting off. I think it's been doing this to me now for the last two years. And I think I've come up with a solution. You see this little heat shield I've added to it. Just got back from a trip down to Florida and back about 1,500 miles. So we got it good and warm and we have no more label melting. So I found this on Amazon. Uh, it's just a simple little heat shield that I guess they use on uh, motorcycles and things like that to keep, from, keep, keep the heat, heat off your leg probably. And it's got little brackets spot welded on the back side so you can run uh, the clamps through and tighten it to an exhaust pipe. So that worked out really well for me. But something else I did a little bit, little bit different that I think it benefits, instead of clamping that heat shield directly to my exhaust pipe, I put a 5 8 diameter pipe in there, some scrap aluminum pipe I had laying around. You can see it in between the chrome shield and the exhaust pipe. You see a little round pipe there. And that creates me an air gap. So as the air can flow between the two pieces, and I think that helps, helps greatly to keep that heat down. I'll crawl around to the other side and get you another view. Okay, here's your another view from the back side. Wiggle my camera in there carefully. You can't see. I've got it done. You see how it's clamped? You see it pipe in there? Get a little closer for you. There we go. All right, it gives you a good idea how, how I've got it done. And that did take care of my heat issues when it comes to, uh, to keeping the label from melting off. I didn't like that ideal. Let's go up like this. And see, there's your good shot. You see how I created that air gap all around it. And I've got 1,500 miles on it so far. So I think that's going to solve that problem. So I'll uh, put the original video in behind this one so you can see what I was dealing with originally. Anyhow, thanks for watching. On to the next problem. Okay, I need some help because I don't know if I have a problem or not. I may have, I may not. But look at this oil filter. Okay, I'm trying to get situated where I can see and talk at the same time. Okay, see how that decal is melted and rolled up? That's only after 700 miles. And the engine temperature never got over 190 all the way down here from Kentucky to, up to Florida. Actually, I'm at Fort Wilderness at the moment at Disney. So, and all the oil changes I've done on this thing before, I've never noticed the, that decal uh, crinkle up that way. Uh, I did notice on this last oil change, you know, just you know, a week or so ago, when I took the old oil filter off, it was the same way. It was crinkled up even worse than this. So I guess my question to you guys out there, have you ever noticed this when you pull your oil filter off? Has it been getting hot enough to cause that label to melt? Is that normal? I don't think it is. So, so when I first saw this weeks ago when I changed oil, I thought, well, my first thing to thought was this flange would be leaking. So I took, you can see my exhaust pipes way back here in the back. I, I created, a, I clamped me some metal plates in front of each one, uh, it's just some aluminum, so that it would create some back pressure. And so I did that, and then I came in here with some this incense and some smoke to allow it to flow around the flange, but nowhere was there any indication that it was leaking. And, it, and it's, you know, I can get under here and try to shake the exhaust, and it's as tight as a drum. So I don't think that's the problem, but I'm wondering if, if it's something else, if that's an indication of could a catalytic converter be stopping up? Could that be generating enough at some extra heat? I thought, well, maybe this is an early indication that there's a problem. Everything runs fine. You know, the engine temperature's fine. Fuel trims are fine. No indication they're running lean or not running hot that way. But if, if maybe the exhaust can't get out. So if anybody else has, has seen this, let me know. Maybe it's normal, maybe it's not. But I've done a lot of oil changes, never noticed it before. But while I was under here poking around, you know, you always want to find something. I thought this was odd. Check out this bolt. The head of that bolt had broken off right here. 
actually it's, it's two of them it's, it's, it goes here that's oh, something else I gotta fix and on down the line it's done it all somewhere yeah there's another one down there two of them have done that the heads have broke off so I guess it's something else to put on your maintenance list check those bolts because you don't want those lines rattling around creating a leak and something else on this while I was under here is this little piece I put on here years ago it had vibrated and slid down and was rubbing that line there that's something you want to make sure it doesn't happen because you want to hold through your I think it's I think that's the auto brake line uh, so I gotta I gotta put a clamp on that or something so it holds it in place better so anybody anyway if you can give me some input on what you think about that the oil filter label getting high enough to mount is that normal or what thanks for your information have a great day